Hi there! The evasion of immune destruction is one of the 10 hallmarks of cancer. Immunotherapy counters this by releasing the break of the immune system in fighting against cancer cells. To understand better, we must first appreciate the main hero of the immune system, T lymphocytes, otherwise called T cells. T cells are a type of white blood cell in the immune system which aim to destroy cellular infections. All T cells have receptors which recognize certain labels called antigens. Antigens are substances on bad cells which trigger the immune system to start attacking them. So what exactly happens when a T cell binds to a healthy cell? One specific receptor T cells have is PD-1, programmed cell death 1. PD-1 receptors recognize their partner PD-L1 proteins located on healthy cells. When PD-1 binds with PD-L1, T cells do not attack the healthy cell. In a perfect world, T cells would be able to differentiate healthy cells from unhealthy cells. However, in the body, cancer cells are sneaky. They have PD-L1 proteins on their cell surfaces in order to mimic healthy cells, which provides them with a camouflage from T cells, and so they successfully escape. As a result, T cells unknowingly let the cancer cells continue developing. This is precisely what immunotherapy tries to prevent. Man-made antibodies prevent the PD-1 receptor and the PD-L1 protein from interacting. Consequently, the T cells are stimulated and they begin their battle against the cancer cells. Patients undergoing chemotherapy on average don't have as long a prolonged survival rate as those undergoing immunotherapy. Scientists like Vincenzo Serendolo at the University of Oxford study the interactions between T cells and cancer cells to develop new compounds called vaccine adjuvants that strengthen T cells. So it is no surprise that it has been one of the greatest breakthroughs in cancer research in the last few years.